All right, guys, welcome back to part two of the Catch and Cook. Today we're doing cream cheese ragoons. This is an old recipe. It was invented in San Francisco in the 1950s. It's super easy, so let's get started. So the first thing you need is eight ounces of cream cheese. To that, I'm gonna add an equal amount of crab meat. And then I'm gonna add green onion a little garlic powder a little soy sauce Maybe a little more a little Worcestershire sesame oil a good amount of salt pepper Note how much crab meat that I'm using. So typically in a restaurant, they barely have any crab or it's imitation crab. And so I'm going the total opposite of that and using half crab and fresh crab. So I'm gonna clean this up with a spatula a little bit. Now if you're patient, I'd put this in the fridge for an hour because then it allows the flavors to um, bind together. And it also allows the cream cheese to solidify a little bit so it doesn't, it's not as runny. So let's just add some saran wrap to this. Pop it in the fridge for a little bit. All right guys, now that we've finished the filling, we can start stuffing the ragoons. So you need a little bit of water. You need your stuffing and you need some of these wonton skins you can buy them from Safeway or anywhere I get it I wet two of the edges I get a spoonful and then I bring the two edges together like that. And if you want to get fancy, bring the two corners together. And that's it. So I'm going to crank out a couple more of these. Alright guys, we got our cream cheese ragoons here, all ready to be fried up, time to get in the hot oil.
All right, guys, here's the final product. The cream cheese ragoon with crab. Let's give it a little dip. Man, it's warm and it's creamy and crabby, but on the outside it's perfectly crispy and you still have those chunks in there. That's killer. You guys gotta try this one time. This is my favorite crab recipe now. Mm. If you guys want to know what the chili sauce is, you gotta add this to your fish recipes. This is a secret weapon right here. So that's pretty much it guys. I really appreciate all the subscribers and all your comments. I read every single one of them and it really inspires me to make more videos. All right guys, let's get started. These are the mussels that we got last time. They're not too big, so I didn't grab that many of them. The tide was a little too high to get in there and get some of the big ones. But I wanted to show you guys what happens to your bait after a day of fishing if you don't use it. When you take it out of the freezer, it looks like this. But after a day's fishing, it looks like this. You can't refreeze this bait or else it'll be mushy when you take it out again. All right guys, first thing you wanna do is get your container and put salt on the bottom. Then you wanna get a mussel and just Put it in there. The way I shuck these things is I get a knife that's dull, but rounded on the top. And I just find a good opening, stick my knife in there, and then I kind of just rotate it around. And open like that. So with these muscles, it's the orange part that's really tough. So you want to get that rounded and just kind of go around. Should come off. Try to keep it in one piece. So you got one nice piece of muscle for bait right there. All right guys, so that's a nice looking one right there. All in one piece. All this orange part is all gonna be toughened up pretty soon. And it stays on the hook really well. So when you cast it out, you're not worried about, oh, is my bait still on? Or you know that you have still have bait and you know they like it. So that's why I like using muscle. So once you have a nice layer of muscle going, then you go back to the salt. You put a nice layer of salt over it. And you keep going. So when you're shucking these muscles, you'll find really big ones like this that are alive and it's gonna be really hard to f stick your knife in there and find a spot, a weak point. But on these muscles, the weak point is where the beard comes out. So I stick my knife in right there, see? Went in really easy. And then I rotate my knife around. And 
and then I just twist my blade. All right, guys, I just finished the muscles. This is what it looks like. As you can see, moisture is getting drawn out of the muscles. So the salt is kind of getting a little more liquidy. So I would change this out, um, change the salt, maybe in a couple days, and then it'll last for a really long time, over a year. So the way our channel's been growing, we'll probably hit 100 subscribers by next video. So stay tuned for the winner. Other than that, thank you for watching guys and I appreciate everybody's comments and likes and I'll see you next time.